Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from www.vfxradio.com and once again I'm here with my another new and exciting video tutorial. Actually this tutorial is uh, created due to the requests of the viewers of vfxradio.com. I got lots of emails containing this question. How to illuminate half of the portion of a character assuming some light is in its uh, backside. So I took this as a challenge and uh, here I come with the solution of the related question. And indeed the technique what I am uh, going to uh, show you in this tutorial is very very important to know. So here is the result what you will see in the end of this tutorial. See the guy is calling you to beat you. <laughs> You may see this uh, blue tint around the left side of the guy. Actually this effect was not in the actual footage. The actual footage is uh, something like this. You may see uh, the actual footage is uh, without any blue tint around his left hand and neck. And even this is not the actual footage. The actual footage is... Um, uh, if I uh, turn off all the effects, you may uh, see this is a chroma footage. You can download all the chroma clips and other stock footages from vfxradar.com absolutely free, obviously. <laughs> so uh, now I am going to uh, tell you how to perform this task. And this is a very important technique I am going to tell you today. So fasten your seat belts and let's make a new project. No, I don't want to save it. Let's uh, double click here and uh, call my mask man footage here. Drag it to the comp. As you can see that this is a chroma footage and uh, first I need to key out this blue background of the mask man. So uh, first of all go to correction, levels and uh, adjust some uh, brightness and contrast here. Something like this. Yeah. Then again go to effect king and uh, pick the linear color key. I love this linear color key option. Easy to use, simple and yet very effective. So uh, click on this uh, color picker button and uh, click on the chroma background. In just one stroke it removes the blue background and uh, you may see the blue busy is uh, not anymore here. This is the final output, this is the source clip with blue busy and this is the mat. Actually if I switch to final output it may look good to you but it's not like that. You have to check this mat only option. It says that the area which is completely white is the perfect cutout and the area which is black is complete transparent. So. To get a perfect black and white mat, you have to play with the uh, you have to play with these values. Play with the matching softness and matching tolerance value until you get a perfect black and white mat. That's good. Now go to a uh, final output and see it's all done. For better result, go to effect and apply matte choker effect. Turn into a matte only option and uh, play with the values of matte choker. Turn into a final output and you can see that our footage has got better look in its edges. Now I think it's all done. Now just uh, move ahead and uh, make a new comp and uh, name it as matte. Press OK. This is the mask man comp and the same footage. I need a copy of this clip in the second comp. So just press uh, control C and in mat comp press control V. Now select the clip go to linear color key and select uh, the mat only option. Now it is showing only the mat. Now select this clip and press control D to make a duplicate of this layer. Now what you have to do. Select the lower layer and click here and select the option Luma Inverted. This feature is called Track Mat. Now select the upper layer and drag it a bit to the left side. So 
as you play this you may see that there has been generated a white uh, hello kind of effect at the right side which uh, travels with the mat and hence this feature is known as traveling mat or track mat so we will use this mat in our this comp now you can uh, further the area of this uh, white mat also uh, for a better result to do so just uh, make a new adjustment layer and uh, type the Gaussian in the effect and presets panel this is the Gaussian blur uh, drag it to the adjustment layer play with the value of Gaussian blur and uh, make it a bit uh, blurry something like this now come to this uh, maskman comp and drag the matte comp to this comp Put it above the layer, you may see the white blurred effect here. For a time, make it off and uh, make a new adjustment layer and put it beneath the matte layer. You may rename it to the color correction. Now go to effect, color correction and apply hue and saturation. play with the value and uh, I want something like this uh, purple club okay um, what's this okay uh, now uh, oh this is the headache for me I, I just want to get rid of this yeah. I have to bring down the track mat feature again now go to color correction layer and uh, click it and select the alpha mat or uh, maybe luma both are same now you can see the purple hello around the left side of the mask man and if you play this clip you may see the effect is pretty good running all over the clip so uh, you may see that there is a kind of side light effect in the left side of the mask man and in the right side from our angle in fact so this technique is very important and useful to know actually the whole thing is because of this mat only if you delete it you won't have anything you won't have this effect actually so the mat is very important it's very easy to use easy to understand yet very effective and an important thing to know and i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial very much so keep writing to me if you want some specific tutorials keep watching vfxreddit.com hey this is chandan kumar don't forget it see you soon bye bye